Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful fall color in one of the my favorite streets here in Orangeville. It's called Zina Street. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Zechariah 10 verse 1. It says, Ask the Lord for rain in the spring, for he makes the storm clouds. And he will send showers of rain so every field becomes a lush pasture. Here's my poem. Pray for rain. Have you had a drought in your life lately? Pray for a shower of blessings from God Almighty. Ask the Lord for rain and he will grant it to you. He is faithful to deliver his promises if you don't let go. Diligently ask anything in his name and you will get it. Pray for rain of gifts and anointing from the Holy Spirit. If you have already envisioned you have it, it will be done. Nothing is impossible to the most powerful one and only Son. Here's my essay. In 1 Kings 18, we hear the story of Elijah praying for rain and the Lord granting him such request. If you live in a desert, the rain is a much welcome thought, especially if you have been walking in the heat of the desert. Probably those poor people living in developing countries only access to clean water is from the rain. In John 14:14, 14, 14, we are told that if we ask anything in his name, he will do it. And Mark 11, 24 says that you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. So why don't people boldly and confidently ask in God's name? Prayer. Lord, shower me with anointing so I can do the work for your kingdom. Reflection. Why is faith essential in order for prayers to be answered? Well, in Jesus' ministry, we know all the stories, we have heard the stories that even though he knows that somebody is sick, he still asks permission, <coughs> excuse me, or asks the question, what do you want me to do for you? In other words, one of the prerequisites of a miracle is believing. So, if you ask and don't believe, you won't get it. So it's important that when you ask, you ask in faith and, you, and then you will receive it. Um, faith is the step, <clears throat> is the first step that we can take when we want a miracle to happen in our life. Because God, with God, anything is possible. He can just give us a miracle. But He wants us to do our part in making that miracle and to glorify Him. Because when we take a leap of faith, then anything is possible. So that's why it's very important for us to... Um, have faith when we answer and this is the reason why a lot of our prayers are unanswered because we don't have faith and we don't have that expectant hope that we already receive it that's why we don't get it so I I'd like to share to you some um, things that I have learned to declare now and receive and then I actually see that it has been given to me. Like even my car, um, I had my first car in two years ago. No, um, 10 years ago I had my first car when I moved to Canada. And then I asked God that I don't know anything about cars. That was my first car ever and it was the second hand I bought and so I said Lord Jesus if you just give me at least five years from this car if you just give me a car that will 
last for five years and that I will not have much problem um, and with with the price that I can afford it um, I, I ask you to give that to me in your mighty name and hello just in a day my friend's uh, husband actually was an auto a used car auto dealer so a car came by with the budget that I had and when I saw the car I've never driven a car in my life so I didn't know if it was good or bad so I had no comparison and I paid it cash right there and then and that car served me eight years five years eight by the uh, by the eight year it was really getting rusty and I told the Lord I needed another car and I don't have a job and you know that I've been working for you I've been writing all this uh, poetry devotionals for you for for four or five years now so I know you will take care of me and I believe that you are going to give me something and I made a vision board and in the vision board I have all the pictures of the car that I wanted and in two weeks I got the car so in other words Anything is possible if you have faith. And oftentimes when we have unanswered prayers is because we don't have faith enough. So with with grace, with blessings, you 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 I'm sorry, with with blessings you get that and the gifts only because you believe. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much, and so do I.